Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss Java SE 1Z0808 MCQs. I, you know, I had uploaded multiple videos where it was a cheat sheet for the people who are going to attempt this exam, and I got amazing, amazing response for you guys. So I decided why not create a MCQ series? Why not, you know, just attempt the questions? So I created one, and I'll be uploading few. parts of it and this is the part 1 so let us just dive into the questions over here we have a question that says what would be the output of code given below so let me just look at the code the code is public class just moon things and then we have our famous java main method and then we have string a just moon things and then we have a string b that again has just moon things but there's a plus in between okay now over here our system is trying to print a dot equals b so now we have to decide that what exactly will be the answer we have four options here true false exception is thrown and the fourth one is compilation error so so over here string b has a plus sign and then we have just moon things over here if you will observe we have a empty string and then we have just moon things so when this nothing plus just moon things will combine it will be only this particular string that is just moon things you consider this as zero and this as some number so zero plus anything is that anything consider this as 10 and this as zero so zero plus 10 is zero so after this execution b will be pointing to a string that is just moon things okay so over here string a points to a memory location that has the value just moon things and b again points to a memory location that stores again the same value when we use dot equal it won't compare the memory location of the objects in fact it will compare the exact value that resides within a and b so the value that resides within a and b is same so this will print true because dot equal returns the a boolean value it's either true or false so the answer is true i have again noted down the explanation over here if in case you would like to understand more just you know uh take a while and read through this but a point to ponder in this question is in exam make a note if concatenation is being done by empty string or space character just keep a note that it will you know give you the same string but you have to take care if it's a space character in this case it was an empty string let us move ahead to another question so over here we have a code in which we have import java time local date then we have a public class a okay then we again have our main method and then we are trying then we have created an object of local date and we have named the object as date and then we are trying to run a method in which we are passing 2018 comma 02 and 02 and then we are trying to print date the like we have you using the object and then we are like you know dot get month value so again over here we have multiple options we have 02 to february february and compilation fail always ensure that you are able to understand and even you know i will suggest you to learn like you know if we are returning a month in a string form is the capital f or small f because all these things play a significant role 
in you know answering the questions so in this case what will happen is uh, the dot get month value will you know analyze the value that is present within the date and it will return the number and the month are you know numbered from 1 to 12 in numbers so in this case in from 1 to 12 zero 2 is saved so in this case year 2018 month is 2 and date is 2 hence 2 will be printed so so you know this particular question will make you understand that even though you pass 0 2 will be printed so you have to be very careful how exactly the methods are coded so over here this is a snippet of the code and you can see when i ran it i got 2 as my output let us move on to another question again we have a code over here we have our class b then we have our main method then we have a number variable of byte that has a value 100 then we have a famous switch statement we are trying to pass the number variable into it and then we have three cases we have case 7 we have if you will note the case 7 has single inverted commas then we have case 100 and then we have case 200 in case number 7 if we are trying to run it we are trying to print a and then we are breaking it in case 100 we are trying to print b and then break it if you know in switch case whenever there is a break the preceding statements won't run you know it will come out of the switch case loop so now we have understood the question now we have to think what will be the output will it be a will it be b or will it be c so the output will be compilation fails now your your you know question must be why so you must understand that uh this is a very known mcq in the exam so you can expect something like this over here we are trying to pass a byte variable in switch case so the byte ranges from minus 128 to 127 and over here since we are passing 7 it will be considered the ascii value so in this case the you know it will cross the ascii value and it won't run so it will give us compilation fail now you must be thinking that how it happened so case 7 is a valid thing so it's a ascii value will be considered case 100 is within the range of the byte but case 200 over here since we are passing the number and it's in the form of byte the switch case will be expecting everything uh, in the byte range so since the byte range is from minus 128 to 127 200 won't be acceptable for the compiler compiler to compile because it will be like i am expecting a byte and all the cases should be uh, in compile uh, compliance with that okay so the last case is not in accordance with the byte range so this is a table in which you know there's a list of given things that what all we can pass in switch and what all we cannot pass in switch so we can pass a char we can pass a byte we can pass a short a uh, int enum string but we cannot pass a boolean so what you have to ensure is that that whatever cases that you are creating they should be in accordance with the variable that is passed within the switch and if you ever seen that you know there's a true value or a false value that's a boolean and we cannot give boolean to switch 
but if it's in single inverted or double inverted comma it's considered as a string so you have to be very very precise in making a decision of what is right and what is wrong in this example so yeah if you want to make a note just make a note that boolean is incorrect when we pass it to switch rest most of the things are fine so that was it for this video in the next video we will be solving more and more mcqs thank you for watching